Uh, Taiwan has lost another diplomatic ally just two days after the island elected candidate from the Democratic Progressive Party, William Lai, as its new president. The small Pacific island nation of Nauru has severed relations with Taipei to re-establish formal ties with Beijing. The government of Nauru says it would no longer recognize Taiwan as a separate country, but rather as an inalienable part of China's territory. Well, that leaves just 12 countries with formal diplomatic relations with Taiwan. In East Asia and the Pacific, there's the Marshall Islands, Palau and Tuvalu. China has welcomed Nauru's diplomatic switch. Taiwan has lost an ally. The United States reaffirmed its commitment to the island as, quote, rock solid. Former U.S. National Security Advisor Stephen Hadley is on a trip to Taipei to congratulate President-elect William Lai, who will take office in May. Taiwan's foreign ministry said the timing of Nauru's decision appears to be part of China's retaliation against Saturday's elections. Well, Olivia Song joins us live from Beijing. Olivia, we heard there from Taiwan's foreign ministry, but before that, we also heard from Beijing's foreign ministry. Beyond this rhetoric, what does the loss of this ally for Taiwan mean for China? Well, we, so we know that Beijing has issued several statements on this latest move. We heard from uh, the foreign ministry as well as the Taiwan Affairs Office all welcoming the move. And this comes as observers had predicted that Beijing would likely exert more pressure on Taiwan in the wake of the election as Beijing has been clear that it did not want to see the DPP's William Lai uh, take up the presidency as it has labelled him a dangerous separatist. Now, Taiwan has also accused Beijing of poaching Nauru with economic incentives. China's foreign ministry was asked about this today at its daily briefing, also about the timing of this announcement coming so shortly after the election. But the foreign ministry spokesperson continued to reiterate, emphasize that Nauru is an independent country and she said that it had made the right choice. Have a listen. Nauru, as a self-determination Now, this diplomatic move is not without precedence. We have seen Beijing step up pressure on Taiwan since 2016 when the DPP's Tsai Ing-wen took power and as she has over the years tried to boost Taiwan's international standing, which has angered uh, Beijing. Mr. Lai expected to continue that legacy, having served as Ms. Tsai's vice president. Now, last year, we also saw uh, the likes of Honduras make the diplomatic switch from Taipei to Beijing. Back then, we saw Taiwan accusing her of demanding billions of dollars in economic assistance from them before being, quote, lured away by Beijing, with Beijing and Taipei constantly accusing each other of what has called dollar diplomacy. Wei Su. Oliver, uh, possibly balancing that diplomatic switch, an unofficial U.S. delegation currently in Taiwan, something China also earlier objecting to. How could this visit uh, impact already strained U.S.-China relations? Absolutely. Beijing continuing to make its uh, unhappiness known today. The Chinese foreign ministry issuing another warning to the U.S., stressing that it has always opposed any form of official exchanges between Taiwan and the U.S., saying that it also opposes 
you, the U.S. interfering in Taiwan affairs using any way or with any excuse. And it warned the U.S. Uh, to handle the Taiwan issue with caution. And we've seen after the Taiwan election that Beijing has criticized countries, including the U.S., for congratulating Mr. Lai, uh, particularly to the U.S. China said it sent a wrong signal to Taiwan independence forces, even though the U.S. we have seen has tried to play down this particular visit, saying that uh, it has done this before, after previous Taiwan elections, and that there is no change to its one China policy. So this visit, however, may complicate the already troubled China-U.S. relationship. But the question is whether Beijing would react in a way that may disrupt what we have seen as positive momentum in recent times, given a resumption of some of the exchanges, particularly on the military front, after that top leader meeting between Chinese President Xi Jinping and his U.S. counterpart Joe Biden in November last year. Observers say that China would want to calibrate this carefully, not to upset this already very fragile relationship. Um, thanks for that. CNN's Liver Show reporting live from Beijing.